Al Jazeera is a Qatari state-owned media company that spreads news and content throughout the world. Yeah, that's why every time we cut, we review a, a video from Al Jazeera, uh, it always shows at the bottom that YouTube like clarifies. By the way, just so you know that the content that you're watching is funded by the Qatari government. J Plus is a subsidiary of Al Jazeera that was launched in 2014. That so AJ Plus is more like activist. So AJ Plus is a part of Al Jazeera, and it's more of an activist chan um, content creation rather than just pure news, right? So they're not like in AJ Plus. It doesn't hide the fact that it's pushing for certain uh, ideas, and part of the reason why they separated that. Um, is so that they don't even have to pretend like they're, they're news and also so that they don't use the name Al Jazeera in their YouTube in their content it's a like it's Al Jazeera but they call it AJ plus because they know a lot of people are sensitive to the name Al Jazeera Al Jazeera just sounds like you I mean it's Arabic and Arab people are like Arabic they think like Islamic and they're like oh Islamic this is like bias so they thought like this branding AJ plus helps them with because AJ Plus is mostly directed at the Western audience, especially an American audience, right? So this is a, basically a Qatari's government way of influencing the opinions in in um, United States mostly. I mean, other places as well, but mostly the United States, right? But again, you can't do that with the name Al Jazeera, right? Um, that's like people are like, yeah, I don't know about that. So that's why they rebranded that as AJ Plus and AJ Plus to a lot of Americans doesn't just sound as threatening, right? That focuses on online. Which I'm not, by the way, I'm not endorsing people thinking anything Arabic is like, th like that's nonsense, by the way, right? You could have like a channel with an Arabic name that is like purely for secularism. You could have, you have a lot of anti-Islamic Arabic channels. So the whole idea of people like listening to hearing something Arabic, I'm like, oh my God, what is this? This is bias. As Islamic, that's nonsense. Not just just because something is Arabic, that doesn't mean like it's like pro-Islam or something like that. Oh wow, Abdullah Samir is in the live chat. Oh wait, I sorry, I shouldn't. He doesn't like me highlighting it so much. Hey, Abdullah Samir, welcome to our channel. Not, I'm not okay. Going back to the video. Is on online news, pop culture. Um, Saji means what does Al Jazeera mean? Al Jazeera, I think Jazeera means island, right? So Al Jazeera, I think so. Jazeera, I think, means island, so Al Jazeera must mean the island. Anyways, let's go back. Online news, pop culture, and current events. They have millions of followers across the globe, including many young Muslims. I remember when I first came across AJ Plus on social media, they were put... I first came across uh, Al Jazeera when... When was it? Yeah, it was the, yeah, it was the Iraq, it was the Iraq war. Yeah, that's when the Al Jazeera became very famous. We're putting out videos covering the 2014 bombing of Gaza by Israel. I remember thinking to myself, Alhamdulillah, now we have media coverage that is not biased by right. Zionist propaganda. But <laughs> everything bad is Zionist. But my happiness was very short-lived unfortunately no i actually i was joking okay i'm not misrepresenting him he probably if he could hear me say that he would be like oh this is a straw man our man of course i believe that there are things that are bad that are not zionists okay let's not i'm, I'm trying to be, to be careful not to straw man him okay lived unfortunately because immediately after launching aj plus started putting out content that was not only un-islamic in many cases it was actually anti-islam just consider so i think daniel Hayraju is going to make a mistake here um i mean he's not going to make a mistake but he's going to represent a worldview that both muslim people and anti-islam people make when it comes to content coming from islamic countries right um as, especially a country like qatar yeah. Yeah, I agree with Abdullah Samir's position. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. I don't know. The He's fun, though. He's kind of funny. He's, uh, John is so ridiculous. He's kind of funny. I don't know. 
sheer amount of AJ Plus videos dedicated to glorifying drugs and even alcohol. Or how? <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? To what? To drugs? Hold on. Listen to this. Look at the phrasing, okay? Glorifying drugs and even alcohol. So AJ Plus puts that videos out there that is dedicated to glorifying drugs and even alcohol, even alcohol. Or how about the dozens? <laughs> yeah, AJ's like, oh my God, not alcohol. <laughs> of AJ Plus videos dedicated to abortion and terminating pregnancies as a sacred right. But drugs, alcohol, and abortion are only the tip of the iceberg with AJ Plus. So AJ Plus, I, I follow AJ Plus. Yes, they are pro-abortion, pro, -abortion, pro uh, so even though it's funded by Qatar, they're pro-abortion, pro, -abortion, pro uh, legalizing drugs and alcohol and pro obviously uh, what else are they pro for they're pro gay marriage they are pro they're very wokey very 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 wokey like more wokey than any um, yeah they're very leftist okay so basically aj plus look uh, is like a looked at the united states market and saw there's a gap to fill and they decided to take the side of the wokest, wokestani mujahideen. Um, so they're not spreading Asia Plus is not at all spreading Islam. They are, they're spreading far leftist narratives in in United States. And you might be asking why? Well, because that gives them, you know, they want to be able to have influence. You know, here's a here's a tip. If by the way, if any government leaders are watching right now, here's a tip. Okay. If you want to have influence over some other country's policies and stuff, at first you don't really have to worry about what narratives you're pushing and whether the narratives you're pushing matches what you want or not, okay? At first you just have to see whatever the gap is and whatever sells, just grow your influence in that market and worry about and just know that you have an influence. Just know that you have a big audience in that in that in that in that area. And then you worry about what you push for and how that would be in your benefit later. And I think a lot of governments are realizing that, right? A lot of governments like you know, sometimes you watch RT, for example, from Russia, and you're like, okay, well they're actually providing some good information here. So what's up with that? Because you want to get credibility, you want to grow. And then you worry about, worry about pushing your agenda later. That comes later, right? The first step is to find something that there's a demand for it so that people become subscribed to your YouTube channel and stuff like that. You worry, yeah. So that's why sometimes you're like, wait, wait why is this in Qatar's, why would the Qatar's government interest be to go and like fight right wing, like basically it's an anti right wing. YouTube channel right now, Asia Plus, right? And like, Qatar's politics, what does that got to do with like, and it's like very, very woke. It's like very cancel culture, full on socialist. AJ Plus is very interesting because they've been funded by some of the, <laughs> some of the most traditionally capitalist people in the world, right? So a, like Qatar business people that are like extremely capitalistic, right? They're funding AJ Plus that is unapologetically socialist like it's not like social democrat like bernie bernie is kind of like a capitalist with who wants more like regulations like he wants like limitations on capitalism right so it's not an actual socialist right aj plus is like nope no nope, we're so like socialism good capitalism bad like full on full on uh pro blm kind of apologetic for antifa and you know like okay it does why would qatari government why would the these business people these oligarchs in qatar all this fun stuff like this right because they're smart they're smart they look at the market they like how could we like they're, they're thinking about politics and influence and being able to have like proxies and you know you know 
they they want to have different players in different areas that they could move if they because they because if people know that you have an influence here now they have to play games with you if they know that you have outlets in their country and this country that you could simply say, you know push a certain narratives now all of a sudden you become a more important player that they have to take into account if it's a, like uh, like Qatar now has a major influence on people's opinions in the United States and they could influence the election through AJ plus right they can do that and it's completely legal right so they know like Al Jazeera has that right that's why Turkey makes TRT uh, that's why Russia has RT that's why Iran has press TV that's why the United States has radio like freedom what what is that called freedom something freedom radio something like that or voice of America um, yeah that's why they, they invest in these things right 